Hello Booktube! Welcome to Lizzie Fay Loves Books. I'm Elizabeth and today I'd like to do part two of my All My Series video project. And this is also part of my Project 17 and 17 reading challenge for this year because I'd like to show you the top 17 series that I've already started that I plan to finish in 2017. And the first eight are series that I actually own the books that I am going to be reading but several of these I have the audio available to me through the library or through Hoopla. Even if I own the book, I will probably also be listening as well as following along in print. The first series I've actually already finished this year. The Christmas Box by Richard Paul Evans is the first book in this trilogy. And I read this either in December of 2015 or January of 2016. I can't remember at this point. And then in late December of 2016, I read the second book, which is called Time Peace. I listened to it on audio. And then just this month, I listened to the letter in order to complete this trilogy. So this is my first trilogy slash series done for this year. The next series I plan to finish are a little bit chunkier. I listened to Wedding Ring by Emily Richards on audio. And this is the first book in the Shenandoah album series. I have three more of the books in print. And I'm looking to collect all five of them. But I discovered that they're available on audio on Hoopla. So I will be listening to the rest of these this year. The second book is called Endless Chain. The third book is called Lover's Knot. The fourth book is Touching Stars. And the fifth book is Sister's Choice. These all have an underlying quilt theme, and they have and then there's a quilt worked into the photograph on the cover of each one. So they're really beautiful books, and I really enjoyed the first one, so I'm looking forward to getting through the rest of these this year. The next series I plan to finish is also quite chunky. I had, at the beginning of the year, I had three of these left to go, and I have already listened to one of these in January, and it was The Plains of Passage by Jean M. Owl. It's book four in the Earth Children series. I listened to the first book, which is Clan of the Cave Bear, in December of 2015, and then over the course of 2016, uh, I listened to the next two on audio, and so now, I, at this point, I've got two left. The um, Shelters of Stone, which my husband is actually listening to right now. And then the last one, The Land of Painted Caves. The next series on my list is a, a series by Katherine Lasky called Wolves of the Beyond. There are a total of six books in this series, and I've read three of them in print, but I recently discovered that they are available as well on audio from Hoopla. So I will probably be listening to these. This series takes place in the same world as the Guardians of Gahul, which is the series about owls, only this series is about wolves, obviously. And I really, really enjoyed the first three, and so I am looking forward to getting to the last three. I really want to finish this series this year because I'd like to pass these books on to my sister's grandson, Tate. I've already given him the Guardians of Gahul series for Christmas this past year, and so I'd like to give him these this coming year. The next one on my list is a series that I actually thought I had already finished, but then Miss Fanny Flagg has come out with a fourth book in the Elmwood Springs series, and it and I got it for Christmas. I'm so excited. It's called The Whole Town's Talking. I received it for Christmas in print form, but then the library also has it on audio, so I'm going to go ahead and listen to it, and then at some point in my lifetime, hopefully I'll be able to go back and read it in print, but for now, the fastest way to get to it is through audio, and I am really excited about it. The next one on my list is a fantasy trilogy, and it's by Robin Hobb, the Farseer trilogy. Last year I read Assassin's Apprentice, and so I really want to go on now and read Royal Assassin and Assassin's Quest. I have several other Robin Hobb books that I've collected, but my goal for this year is to at least finish this trilogy. The next one on my list is a duology, and I'm not really all that excited about reading it, but I've read the first book, and I own the second one. It was one I just brought home from the library because nobody else wanted it, and I got to thinking that my sister might enjoy it because I knew that she really enjoyed the movie that the first book was based on way back in the day, and what I'm talking about is Oliver's Story by Eric Siegel or Seagal, and of course, this is the sequel to Love Story. Love Story was a huge movie back in the 70s. I remember my sister playing the theme on the piano, and uh, we went to see the movie and all of that. So I ran across this book. This was in some leftover book sale stuff a couple of years back when I was still the book sales chairman. So I ended up just, you know, I think 
putting in a quarter for it and bringing it home. And I read the first book, I think in 2015. I wasn't that crazy about it, but I thought if I go ahead and get this read this year, then I could pass this on to my sister and get it off my bookshelf. Here's another series I thought I was done with, and I discovered there was an 11th book in the original 39 Clues series. This one's called Vespers Rising, and this is written by Rick Riordan, Peter Larengus, Gordon Corman, and Jude Watson. Now, these authors were all authors of individual books in the 39 Clues series, so I guess they worked together to complete this book. And I really thoroughly enjoyed the series. I thought it was a lot of fun. In fact, I've already started reading the next series, which is Cahills vs. Vespers, but I didn't know until recently that this book 11 existed. So I have it now, and I need to read it. Now those are all the books that I own that I need to read. Now the next book I'm hoping to get from the library, but at this point none of the libraries in my county have it. Uh, but I did speak to someone from the library that owns the first two in the Silo Trilogy, which is Wool and Shift by Hugh Howey. And I asked them if they would please order the other book in the trilogy, which is Dust. They've got the first two books on audio. So I went to the circulation desk and I put in a request. I said, you know, you guys have the first two of this series. The third one's not very old. There may be other people like me who've listened to the first two and would like to listen to the third one. So I'm really hoping that this year they will get that. And if they don't get it, I may have to listen to something else instead or maybe I'll just buy it. I don't know. I really enjoyed Wool and Shift and I'd really like to finish the series. Now the next one on my list is The Wrath and the Dawn. I read The Wrath and the Dawn in 2015 and I never got around to reading The Rose and the Dagger in 2016 so I need to finish that and I understand that that's a duology however I noticed on Goodreads that there are three novellas and I really don't consider a series finished until I've read everything that the author has written in regards to that series. So if I can get those three novellas and then also read The Rose and the Dagger then that is my goal for that series. Then the next one on my list, I actually just put on there, I had to bump something else out because I discovered when I was doing my video about series I finished that there's a fourth book in the Shiloh series by Phyllis Reynolds Naylor. Shiloh is a Newbery winner that I read several years ago. In fact, at the time there was only a trilogy and I read all three of them and then I discovered just the other day that there's a book called Shiloh Christmas and it's available on Hoopla on audio so I will get to that very soon. Then another series I thought I had finished and I discovered that there's another one that I hadn't read is Peter and the Star Catchers. I said in my series I finished video that I had read everything in that series. I looked on Goodreads and discovered a fifth book that I don't think I've read. Now if I get it and discover that really I did read it then um, then it's all good but I don't think I've read the fifth book and then I mentioned some novellas that are part of that series but when I looked them up I actually realized that they're kind of a different series set in the same world it's called the Neverland series and I know for sure that I have read two of those and there is a total of three so I'm still kind of grouping those all together and so I'd like to read book five in the Peter and the Starcatcher series and the other shorter novel of the Neverland books so that I will have finished everything from that world. And those are by Dave Barry and Ridley Pearson. Then the next one on my list is a duology. And this one is another one that I'm not all that excited about reading, but I've been hanging on to the first book until I could read the second one, just in case I needed to refer back to it. And the first book is no Time for Goodbye by Linwood Barclay. I really enjoyed that premise, but I wasn't crazy about the book overall. But I am interested to see what happens in the second book, and I believe it's only a duology. The other book is called No Safe House, and I will have to get that one from the library. The next series on my list is a series that I don't really think is done yet. I think there's still going to be more books that come out later, but I would like to catch up with it, and that's The Penderwicks. As far as I know right now, there are four books, and I've read two of them, so but for this year, I want to get books three and four read, and if a fifth one comes out, then I will make every attempt to get it read as well, so that by the end of the year, I will be caught up with whatever has been released. Then another series that I started several years ago that I really would like to finish is the Rose Harbor series by Debbie Makember. Uh, the Rose Harbor series is really kind of a spin-off series of the Cedar Cove series, which I did finish. The setting is a bed and breakfast, which is in Cedar Cove and so a few characters from the Cedar Cove series come in and out but it's about a 
uh, a woman who is the inn owner. So I've read the first two books in the Rose Harbor series, and there are three more novels, and there are also three novellas that are available on ebook, and I have already purchased all three of those, so I need to get all six of those read sometime during this year. And then the last one on my list, number 17, is the last one of a trilogy, and the trilogy is Anna and the French Kiss. I read the first one of those in print, I listened to the second one on audio, and the third one, Isla and the Happily Ever After, I believe I'm going to have to read in print, because I haven't been able to find it on audio anywhere through Hoopla or the library or anything like that. So I will be reading that one and checking that series off my list. So now those are 17 different series that I plan to finish. If for some reason that I'm not able to finish one of those, then my alternate is the Ember series, or the City of Ember. I've read the first two of those books. They're by Jean Duprow, and there are two more books, I believe, in that series. So that's my alternate series, and for some reason I'm not able to finish one of the other series. And of course that's not all of the series in my life that I'd like to finish. I do have several other series that I've started that I'd like to finish, but those are the top 17 that I think I can finish and that I really am in the mood to finish and that I really want to finish this year. So in a future video, I will also be sharing with you another list of 17 series that I have already started that I want to continue working on but those will be series that I don't plan on or don't think I can finish during the year 2017. I've got a lot of series underway and I might be able to finish some of the others too, but it's not going to upset me if I don't because I don't expect to. So I'll tell you more about that in another video. For now, that's all I have for this video. I hope you're having a great day. Read a good book and God bless you.